Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I made a kind of cool contraption and I wanted to show it off. It doesn't work quite as well as I'd like, but it's pretty neat still, um, and it's got some stuff I've never seen before. So basically it's like an open air entrance to a base. So you can go in, drop down, you have this whole base here, we can close the entrance there, um, and, and the hallway comes to an end. And if we want to go back up, uh, we can go back up. This is the buggy part though. It, uh, since there's falling sand involved, it's just kind of glitchy. You fall through the sand and you end up lodged inside another block. Um, it works better if you just jump, hold, hold down spacebar while you're while you're riding it, but even that sometimes doesn't work. So, but you can see there it worked fine. It's pretty neat. I wish it worked a little better. I can show you how it works. It's still worth um, still worth learning about even even though it doesn't quite work perfectly. So, basically what's happening is this. <laughs> you can sort of see it more clearly now. So, when when the when the elevator goes down, all the all the pistons are pulled down and then finally this uh, this sandstone block is pulled out of the way. When it goes up, the whole thing is pushed up and then at the last second the top piston retracts and uh, the sticky piston pushes a um, which is a sandstone block underneath the sand to keep it in place. Uh, which is kind of a cool cool thing. I've never really seen that anywhere before. Um, the rest of this uses uh, some techniques by Minecraft Addict, which basically just uses a single monostable pulse to trigger all of these pistons. So it's pretty, pretty neat. Um, so the, I have uh, four different colors of, of wool. That's because there's four different signals. Um, I can just briefly say what happens. And you can sort of see just from, if you slow it down or whatever, you can see what's happening. But um, the first thing that happens is uh, uh, when you press a button, it gets set through this, sent through this one tick monostable circuit. So that, that's the output of the monostable circuit right here. Then it gets sent to this green wool. Uh, the green wool immediately will trigger the middle one. That's to pull down this uh, this top block here. So it'll immediately trigger the middle one, and then after three ticks, it'll trigger the bottom one. And after six ticks, it'll trigger the middle one again. Um, so that's all you need to do to pull pull it down. Actually, yeah, it, this this the second one triggers uh, triggers down here, the second layer down or second layer from the bottom, triggers down here. Uh, that's all you need to do to pull it down, but to push it up you need to do some other stuff. So um, in addition to those two things, which which happen every time, every time you push the button, um, I also split off the, the pulse into a the, the blue pulse here. After nine ticks, this piston will extend, uh, which is going to push the sand up here. Let me get to do a different state. So after nine ticks, uh, this non-sticky piston is going to be right here, and so uh, it'll extend, which will push the sand up. And then two ticks later, this this one will uh, extend out, which which will happen right after right after the non-sticky piston contracts, and it'll catch the sand while it's still while it's still up here. So um, once again. Uh, zero ticks in, this one this one expands and contracts. Uh, three ticks in, the bottom one. Six ticks in, the actually both the second layer and the third layer receive power. Um, then nine ticks in, this layer receives power, and and eleven ticks in, the this one receives power, and that's the last one. And it's, uh, it takes advantage of a little bug where um, or a feature, as Minecraft Addict likes to call it, where sticky pistons will uh, when they expand and contract in a single tick, they will uh, not pull in the thing that they've just pushed out. So it's a very useful bug for uh, for getting stuff like this to happen. Um, yeah, again, I've never seen the trick where you kind of trap the sand in before it's able to fall down. It's kind of a useful one. Uh, it's just kind of a shame that it's a little glitchy when a player is riding the sand. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.